Right, hey Lee, I'm going to try this again. I got all the way through and then ran into a problem, which I, I think I might have solved. Okay, Mo Mobius strip, Mobius strip, Mobius strip. Uh, start off with a, a cube that I've squashed into a plank. Once you do that, what's quite important is hit Control A and select all transforms. And what that does is bring your scale back into alignment. Um, if you don't do that, some of the modifications we do later start to get a bit weird because it's it's seeing the scale as being deformed when actually what we want to do is just start with a kind of fresh object so control a all transforms sets it back to a to some sort of square one if you like so we've got this plank um hit tab to go into um edit mode come down to edge loop or whatever it's called in this um to put some geometry in so just click in it defaults to 50 percent between each segment which is great so we can just check in loads of nice geometry to give us something to bend otherwise it ain't going to bend so we're going to bend this we're going to twist it along the long axis and then we're going to bend it round in a circle Okay, so now it's got lots of lovely squares in it. Hit tab back to object mode. And the next thing we need is some way of controlling the bend. So to do that, we hit shift A, come all the way down to empty and choose plane axis. And that gives us, it's kind of like a control point that helps um, keep everything constrained without going mental, right? So select your plank, go down over to the right to the um, spanner icon, the modifiers and add modifier. We come over to deform down to simple deform and twist. So we're going to twist this in half. So we go, we want to twist it 180 degrees. Um, as you can see, it's done something quite weird. If we go to origin and scroll down and choose our empty, this should give us a driver to help keep it under control. So then it's just a case of finding the, that's the one. So we're in the Y axis, it's now given us our, um, our twist that we wanted. Okay, right, once that's done, normally with Blender, you can stack up modifiers uh, and alter the settings on each one to get different effects. But for some reason on this, I couldn't get it to twist and then bend in a circle. It, it didn't really like that. So what I'm gonna do is come over to this little arrow. I'm gonna apply so that sets that in stone. So that is now, now done. Uh, next bit is where I ran into a problem a couple of times. I think I figured it out. We're going to go back. We're going to add another modifier back down to simple deform. And this time we're going to go for a bend under origin. We're going to select our empty again and then 360 degrees. He's doing it again. That's so annoying. And then for some reason it started to, and I think what it was is that it, for some reason needed to rotate on its axis. So I'm going to swing that round by 90 degrees and see if we get a better result. Right, I think I figured it out. Um, I think it's to do with the orientation of the strip. So what we're going to do is knock it round in the X axis by 90 degrees. So it's standing up. Um, you may have to play with this it depends on what axis you've got set as up in blender i would imagine you've got z set as up um so there we have there's right we're back to our strip with a twist in it um going to go back to add modifier simple deform angle we want 360 we want to use our empty as a driver sorry we want to get a bend as well don't we there we go. And then the Y axis and there it is, it's bent. What I did was bring this back to 350 or thereabouts to create a gap so that I could come in here, go into edit. But before we do that, we've got to apply our transformation, go into edit, um, edge select, I'll just shift and pick up all these edges. Whoops, not that one. 
No, or that one. Come back, you bastard. Right, and then go to edge, bridge edge loops. So that fills it in so it's a proper solid, solid object. Um, once we've done that, and it's done, hit tab, go back into object mode, we can hit a nice little sub D. You can see I've got a slight wrinkle in it there, but that's just because of the measurement, how far I've, it's, the bridge has jumped. Um, so we can use a subdivision modifier to smooth it off a bit. Um, apply that. Then if you right click in the viewport, you can get a shade smooth, which should help you shade in a bit. Yeah, I got a rather unpleasant little kink in there, but you'll have to figure that one out. You might be able to get away with not joining it. I don't think it actually makes that much difference. Let's head back a little bit and see what happens if we don't. There we go, right. Apply, so I'm not even going to join the edges. We're going to stick a little subdivision in it. Now nah, I see it creates a hole. So we do need two, three hundred and fifty-five. Let's make it a bit closer. Actually, no, let's make it a bit wider. Try and get it the same width as one of the segments. It's not too bad. It's not awesome, but it's not too bad. Um, into edit mode, edge select. Oh no, we haven't applied that. Apply intervention mode. Select the edges. Um, edge. Bridge edge loops. Right, that'll have to do. I think it's because, oh no, we have got, oh well, whatevs, whatevs. Yeah, it's still giving me that slight, you'll have to play with the distance in that gap. Um, then we can go to add modifier, we can stick a subdivision modifier in there just to tidy it up a bit. Apply that, job done. Shop down.